What's up guys, Raider in here, welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Grimrock 2. Last time we got started, we created our characters, and we crash landed on this island on our ship, and now we're ready to do some exploring. So far we just found a letter from the island master that says, Welcome to my island. I don't think you're going to survive it, but maybe you'll prove me wrong. Okay, there's literally nothing here. Okay, what is the point of these all these dead ends? There's stuff in that tree. Interesting. Okay, first. Okay. Uh, let's go explore over here first. Let's go check out what's over here. Um, I'm just going to assume that there's no secrets in these walls because I could literally check these walls forever. And I would probably never notice a secret even if I saw one. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's just assume I cannot find it. Uh, this ring of... I hear something. Okay, well, it wasn't here. It wasn't from here. <laughs> that scared the poo out of me. Uh, let's see what we got here. Welcome to the location of your first challenge. When you're ready to stand in a circle and call out the guardians. What? Let's make a note here. Uh, stand in circle and call out the guardians? I don't know how to do that one. I don't know what that it means even. How do I call out the guardian? Stand in the circle. Nope. Don't know how that works. Maybe I get like a horn or something to blow later. There's a gold key here. Okay, let's put another gold key door. Uh, I feel like by the end of this, I'm going to have like a thousand markers on my map. This rock, is this useful? Does this rock show me anything I need? No, it does not. All right, so we did the full circle here. All right, there's nothing here. Okay, nothing to do here. No idea. Can I go in this ship? No, I can just look at it. I can't go in the ship. Okay, cool. All right, well, in that case, let's pick up these throwing knives we might as well you know what let's keep them on our on pingo here she can at least throw them another horned fruit great crystal of life touch to heal wounds and resort before his power needs time to recharge okay i knew that uh let's mark oh the crystal's marked already good job game scroll of fire burst Yes, it tells me how to cast Fire Burst. Great, I won't keep that with me. I don't think I need it. Uh, let's check out what's over here. Uh, nothing. Oh, what's this? Hello? It's a dude holding his hands out. Is that important? Statue of guy with hands out. <laughs> you know what? Let's replace this sticker with a question mark you know what okay whatever whatever we'll, we'll, we'll do that later okay anything over here what was the point of this was this important is there a hole in the wall here does that do anything for me click 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 nope does nothing okay i think we've explored this whole area yep how big oh i can zoom out oh wow Oh, so this map is like grid based. Uh, oh boy. Okay, my first, my first puzzle room, guys. X marks the spot. Okay, so I gotta make an X. I'm assuming I just make an X uh, in this area. Okay, so do I? Do I have enough things to put down? Okay, I'm gonna put some fruits down. Horn fruit, horn fruit, turtle meat, turtle meat. Put that turtle meat down. Okay, so if I take it off, does it? Okay, I can keep all my stuff. Great. Keep all my food items I picked up. Cause I might need to eat later, guys. Turtle meat. Here we go. 
Save. Let's save our game. Oh, I wish saving was faster. I don't like this. I don't like this like five second pause every time I have to save. That's super annoying. If you review the tutorial hints, you can read them from the pause menu. Okay. Interesting. Okay, it's definitely getting dusky. So, oh shoot. Hello. Who are you? Holy crap! He like jumped at me. Hello. Well, they definitely made the enemies a lot more like. Like dynamic in this game. Holy cow. Right, I got my knife back and my dart back. I'm missing a dart. Oh, it's right here. Okay, got it. Okay, so that's here. Okay, I don't think tabbing pause. Pa okay, tabbing does not pause my game. Ow. Okay, okay, so he can lunge at me. Okay, I can dodge it though. Oh man, holy cow, okay, these guys actually kind of hurt. Okay, it's nighttime. It's straight up nighttime now in this game. That's so cool, there's day and night. Okay, there's a closed door here I can't get through. Legend of Kilhagen. The second most precious thing in his life for a seafaring captain is his sword, because without it, he cannot command his crew. Thus, upon losing his weapon somewhere at Shipwreck Beach, he lost what is most important to him, the respect of the crew. Does that mean there's a sword on the beach somewhere? You know what, let's not use a question, let's use this, because it's just like a text. Uh, lost sword on the Shipwrecked beach? I didn't see a sword. The second most precious thing in life. Huh. Is this called Shipwreck Beach? Okay, this area is called Shipwreck Beach. Okay, so when they say Shipwreck Beach, they actually mean... Oh, hello. They actually mean the Shipwreck Beach. Did he just move backwards? Enemies cannot do that in Grimrock 1. Does that every time? He does it every time. Come on, jump forward so I can hit you. Come on. Got him. Okay, so... Okay, so... There's a sword around here, presumably. on the walls here. Okay, I threw a knife over here. Hopefully I'll pick it up as I move forward. I think I just I think I haven't picked it up yet actually. Peasant's cap. Protection plus one. I will take that. Falcon Skyre. Holy cow, this is like crazy name of I hear I hear I hear, I hear rustling. Let's check out what's over here. Oh, let's pick up that. Definitely want that. Oh my god, these sounds are so unnerving. Holy cow. <laughs> okay. Oh, hello. Haha. -ha. Can't get in. Windgate Terminus East. I don't know what that means. What does that even mean? Alright, I'm gonna save my game before I hit the switch, because I don't want to die. Oh, and it opens a teleporter. Okay, and this is a ornate key. Okay, so this is an ornate key. Okay, well, let's check out this Windgate Terminus and see what this does. It teleported me. Okay, from from here to here. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, game. Okay, we got some more turtle meat. Uh, you can carry one, and you carry one. You know what? Let's eat one. You guys are kind of hungry. 
have some turtle meat. Nom nom nom. There we go. Okay, so this teleports me to over here. Okay, do I need to write that down? Is that important? We'll see. I, if this just connects directly, then we're good. Then I'm not gonna write it down. If it doesn't connect, then we'll then we'll write it down. Is there moss over here or something? Is a door over here? Okay. Uh, oh, there's a switch on the ground. Uh, easy. Boom. Easy. A dagger. I'm assuming that's better than my throw. Special attack. Throws the item quickly on an enemy. Hold down the attack button to use. Okay, so it's a dex item. So damage 3 to 10 plus dexterity. Uh, that's better than my branch, so I'll take that. Healing potion. Great. And an ornate key. Yay! Okay, I left my tree branch in here. Let's just mark that. I don't think that's important, but... Tree branch. Okay, then we want my, I want my fruit back. Yeah, my fruit back. Okay, so we just gotta keep exploring over here. Okay, sounds good. Ooh, and a sack. A sling! Which does missile weapons. Great! Uh, that means I use my rocks, right? Just like before? I think I gave up a rock back there. Nice. Nice. I think I left a rock behind on one of the puzzles. So... I don't think I'll need it. But if I do need it, I'm going to go back and get it. Okay, so that is, this doesn't go anywhere. It just connects to here. Okay, okay. Alright, let's go back. Uh, the ornate key opens this up, so I'm going to open this up. Okay, so that's this key, right? Okay, don't let them lunge at me like that. That hurts. That hurts. Rocks back? Okay, let's see. What's in here? What is in this wonderful cave? I can delete this now. Uh, I got my rock back. Uh, let's see what's over here. More falcon skyer. A wooden box. Which contains a shovel! Oh, interesting! More smoked sea bass, which is great. And note, at the lone oak in the shadow of the blue light, I buried it. Captain Killhand. Oh, that must be a sword. And a rapier. Okay, so rapier goes to him. And the dagger will go to the minotaur. And scroll of poison cloud. Summons a toxic cloud of poison that does damage over time. Great. Great, I don't need that. Uh, and then we'll leave the wooden box behind. So this is poison cloud? Wait, what? Requires earth magic one. Oh, so you still requires earth magic to cast it. What? Oh, but I guess nowadays, now instead of having like 50 points, it's just like one point. So it's way easier to invest in a in a spell school now. Okay, okay, I get it. I get it. Alright, that was kind of useful. I got at least a rapier for my for Nightwing. And then there was a puzzle that says in the shadow of the blue in the shadow of the blue crystal I buried it. Okay, so there must be a there must be treasure or something buried here. Uh So it must be like right here. So if I dig, do I dig the spot underneath me or in front of me? Okay, digs a spot in front of me. Found nothing. What? Is that in the shadow of the blue? Okay, maybe it's over here. In the lone oak. This is a lone oak. 
in the shadow of the blue crystal. That sounds like in front of it. Well, it's somewhere around here. Does digging take time? Am I getting hungry as I dig? No. It's here somewhere. There it is, found treasure. Embalmer's robe, that sounds like an alchemist thing. Production plus two, vitality plus one. Yeah, we definitely want that on on uh, Nightwing here. Healing potion, perfect. And Nightwing leveled up, which means you can learn a new skill. Yes. So let's go ahead and grab light weapons. Great. All right, so we found that treasure. Uh, okay, let's go. Uh, oh, I did say he buried something on the beach, but I have no clue, like, where said captain would have buried something on the beach. Should I go look? I should go look. I should check it out, at least. And my rock is here. Yeah, my rock is here. So I want to push that button and move it. Okay. So according to the map, the pirate lost his sword on the beach. Oh, does it just mean like he lost his sword over here when I found it? Because it sounds like, because this rapier could be a pirate sword. Or was it implying that like it was lost like somewhere on the beach beach, like actually on this beach somewhere? Because there were a bunch of caves that kind of just led to nothing. Like here. Okay, can't dig there. Okay. And what about here? There's like a random like, like, like torch here. That's like nothing. Uh, what about like, uh, like this little sticky out part right here that sticks out right here. What about like here? No, found nothing. Man! I feel like I could just spend my entire game just digging for treasure. Uh, so it's not here. I guess it could be like, I could check like over here maybe? We're gonna check, we're gonna check just in case. We're gonna check. Because I don't wanna miss any treasure if it's like free treasure. Like what's with like this, this empty spot over here? Like where that grass was, there's nothing here? There's just nothing here. Okay, what if what about this like empty cave over here? Hmm. Okay, fine. Nothing. <laughs> what about this empty place that we washed up on? And I was like, what's over here? Okay, I'm just I'm just like I'm, I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy looking for things to dig up, and there's just there's just nothing. There is just nothing. All right, let's go. Let's get let's get out of here. Okay, all right. No more digging. Oops, wrong way. All right, this way, this way. And then over here. This little torch cave still, still makes me uneasy. Why is there a torch cave here? Can I light my torch? No. It's already lit, I assume, then. I wonder if torches will be as much of a thing. Because in Grimlock 1, you would just carry around with you like 100 torches. But if, if this game takes place outside, I don't know why you would ever need a torch. Because the, even though it's nighttime right now, I can still see pretty well. It's not like too bad. Holy shit! Did you respawn? Did you respawn? Do enemies respawn in this game? Got a rock back and everyone leveled up. All right, next grotto got to level up. We're going to grab uh, accuracy for next grotto. Definitely want some accuracy. And then uh, missile weapons for. I'm going to grab missile weapons for, uh, for Pingo here. Oh, more turtle meat. Yes, let's do that. 
And then you're going to grab Fire Magic level 2. Okay, so if we keep leveling up like this, I'll be able to like learn all the skills in the game I want soon. Okay, and since we explored everything, uh, let's move forward. Yeah, let's go. Let's check out what's over here. Nighttime is lasting a while. Also, it didn't tell me how to use this door. Can I put my sword here? How do I open this door? Eh, whatever. I, I feel like that message is just implying that the rapier is his sword. I, I think I think that's what it means. I'm literally gonna dig in every suspicious spot because I feel like that's what you would do, that's what you would do when you have a shovel. Blood drop cap. Oh, I created an ether weed. Nice. Okay, using the healing potions. That sounds good. That I like. Falcon Skyer. Great. This is a dead end. Wait, what? Where can I go? Uh. I'm stuck? Wait, maybe I dig. Maybe I use my trusty shovel over here and that opens the way for bam no did not wait a second how am i stuck already oh i put the sword in the statue's arms i bet boom oh that's so cool wait so then what do i put over by the other statue there's a statue over here. Um, maybe I'll put the sword over there too. I don't know. Game saved. You can rest to heal wounds and regain energy by pressing the R key. Oh, it looks like we are going down. Oh, there are dungeons in this game. Whoa! So the dungeon crawling aspect of this game is still here. Halls of the Dead. Oh, interesting. Okay, well, you carry a torch for now since I don't have any shields. Uh, I feel like zombies or something. There's something gasping over there. It's really, really not. It's really not cool. Let's open it. Let's do it. I hear you. Oh, I hear the zombies. I see the zombies. Come here, zombies. Apprentice wizard. What does that mean? Throw. Throw the rock. Okay. Come here. Oh, maybe red means that uh, the fire spell is, like, super effective. Come here. There you go. That definitely did a lot of damage. It did like 60 something damage. I pick up a rock. Another zombie. Great. Ow. He hurts. Oops. Should not have thrown that rock right there. Okay. This is, this is a little bit more familiar. This is a little bit more familiar to me. The whole dungeon crawling thing. Okay. A wooden box. Inside we have a flint lock. Requires firearms. And pellets. Oh, okay. So we have a gun now. Uh, a simple firearm popular with pirate ship crews. <laughs> okay, so we found our first firearm. Um, I expect um, Pingo into missile weapons for now, but I was thinking of picking up firearms with her later, maybe. Okay, there's a button over here. Okay, there's a little symbol here. That's not anything, I guess. Nope, that's just a wall design. It's a pretty obvious uh, switch right there. So I'm glad. Leather boots. That's going on uh, next grotto for sure. 
And then we already found stairs going out. Uh, before we leave, let's check everything in here first. We're not ready to leave just yet. What did that do? What did that button do? Okay, that opens it. Okay, so we just need to put something on this button. Then we open it, and then we can walk through. Okay, but we're gonna save. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. It's it's back to it's back to Grimrock logic here. We're gonna save in every room. Save before opening every door. Okay, I don't hear any enemies so far. That's good. Okay, this looks kind of like walkabout, or like walk around, roundabout. Okay, a key. Keys make me happy if they don't kill me when I pick them up. Okay, and then we have a closed door here. Okay, with the key. Okay, so... Okay, let's go in here then. But we're gonna save, <laughs> as per usual. Most oh, saving was faster. Hello. Hello. One more. Okay. Okay. Come on. Bring it on, Mr. Zombie. Not scared of you. Nice. Got them all. I got my rocks. All right. And we have some treasure in here. We're going to say. Oh, this is the horn. I knew it. You blew a horn. Horn of Summoning. The horn has a pungent earthy smell. <laughs> okay, so now we can summon the enemies from that little circle thing. And we finished this area. Okay, why don't we... Okay, we have an exit in here. Let's, let's at least exit and see where this goes. This leads right oh, here. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, we're digging here for sure. Nope, nothing. Does this connect somehow? Something opened. Oh, okay, that connects here. Okay, 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 okay. Is there really nothing here? Which means we're digging. Okay, there's nothing here, really. There's just really nothing here. Okay, so that connects to here. Okay, well then there's another there's there's another there's another staircase I missed. So maybe there's a secret in here or some something. Okay, so apparently enemies I think respawn in this game. So when I'm venturing back into these old areas, I should be careful just to make sure I don't like walk into like a like a zombie or a mummy or whatever and just scream. Okay, so what's over here? Save. And let's check it out. Oh, it's a turtle. Hello, turtle. Okay, got the turtle down. Nothing in here? Nothing in here. Found nothing. What is over here? What is this secret? How is this a secret? There's nothing here. Secret to some herbs? No way. Oh, I see a chest over there. I see a chest over there, which means loot. Loot. 
Oh, it's locked. What? Locked chest. Oh, man. Do I need to find a key to open that? Really? Well, that's new. That's definitely a new mechanic. There were no locked chests in Grimrock 1. Okay, so let's go back down here. And we'll write a little note over here that says locked chest this way. Alrighty then. In that case, we've explored everything here. We just need to check out the other path on the other side here. And then when did we get over here? We got the horn. That's right. We got the horn to call the to call the something. Scroll of shock. Okay, that makes sense to me. Healing potion. We'll put that over here. Uh, is there a way for me to like write down my spells? Is there like a little notebook I can have? No, is there like a spell book. No, looks like there's not. Damn. Oh, pick lock picks. Oh, I must use that to pick the lock on the chest. Okay, we're going back. <laughs> well, that was fast. Lock picks, lock picks, lock picks. Oh, it's daytime. It's daytime, guys. Whew. Yeah, what's inside? Frame tribal mask protection plus three energy plus five evasion minus five without light armor proficiency uh, So it gives energy plus five So I should wear that on my Mage for now For some more extra mana Sure, he's gonna lose some evasion, but eh, he's super squishy. Anyway, he would probably just get one shot regardless <laughs> Okay, so that's done. And then, okay, so the up arrow goes to the top floor. That's what I thought. Okay, so have we finished all these. Okay, so it looks like the only thing now is to do is that, is that, um, is that a horn call, and that should f exit this area or lead us out of this area. I think. Nice. At least it's daytime. Phew. Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go this way. Yeah. We're Oh, I'm really loving the aesthetics of Grimrock 2. It looks so much better. It looks so much better than Grimrock 1. Okay, I don't need to heal because I'm in full health. Okay, do I need to put the rapier over here? Nice! Secret. Gold key! Anything else in here? Got distracted by the gold key. That means I can open that door by this challenge. Ah, I picked up another rock. I'm at five rocks now. Oh, turtle meat. Hello. Oh, two turtle meats. Extra hello. Alright, so we solved that puzzle. Oh, we solved all the puzzles we found. Okay, let's open. Whoa, potion of strength. Permanently increases strength plus one. Pellets for guns. And a Holy shit, I heard something. Oh my god, scared the poo out of me. Backbiter, light weapon, 5 to 15 plus dexterity, accuracy plus 5. Okay, this is like a rogue weapon. Um, so, I don't really... I don't really want this. I'll leave a little note that I left a backbiter here. Backbiter dagger. Dex. Don't think I'll need it, but we'll see. So, who do I want to increase strength by one? Um, probably next grotto. All right, guys. And next time when we come back, I think we're gonna be blowing the horn and seeing what this challenge implies. See you guys then. Take care. <laughs>